Yo, what's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joking John City Four here, bringing guys more Madden 15 Ultimate Team, and also welcome to game number three of season five. But before we get into more details, guys, about this gameplay, I would like to say this real quick. Uh, I'm currently using a new headset. It's called the PX22 Turtle Beaches, and I would like to, you guys to give me some feedback on it because I'm not sure if it sounds good or any different. Please let me know in the comment section. Just go one video before, like into the previous episode of Madden 15 Ultimate Team, and you can tell the difference. Or you go to my older videos also. I mean, I'm still using those that old headset I was using, which is called the Logitech. That ha that's been the headset that I've been using for the longest time. But right now, I'm currently using a new one. Cost me like around 60 bucks, and uh, sounds smooth through my headset. But I'm not sure. I can't tell if it's actually good or not. So please leave me some feedback, please. So anyways, moving on to the gameplay about this game, and um, it's been a terrible season so far. You know, the first two games we ended up losing. We go into this third game right away on my first defensive drive. I get run down like for more than 60 plus yards, and I'm like, God damn it, defense. We had like run stuff, and yeah, you can't stop this guy. So he took it all the way with Marshall Lynch, ended up in offense, and I didn't complete the pass, and I ended up going to a four and out, and um, ended up back in defense now, seven to zero. In the first quarter, 1 minute and 50 seconds to go, my defense finally reacting towards the run, finally stopping people behind the line right there. Good job, Jadamian Clowney. Where the hell were you in the first freaking drive? Because I didn't see him anywhere. So uh, he ended up doing a play action and throw it to this guy because he did a post route. He was wide open. I can't believe it because I did send one of my safeties into purple zone. So I don't understand how he was open, man. So um, it was just a big question mark right there. Uh, moving back into my offense, you know, trying to do a little bit more of a difference maker, uh, calling in different plays, calling in different routes, and it's kind of working right now. Jason Marr has been open for the past two plays, and right there, I kind of messed up real bad. I don't even know why I threw it to him. It was just, come on, like, it's second and three. All I had to do is just run the ball, but I don't understand why I called that. I really don't. I was frustrated, by the way, and this was like the third game I played in one day. The other two games, yes, they were all played in one day. Um, it really just got into my head about losing, and I was like, you know what, fuck it. I was like in that fuck it situation, like I wasn't thinking right. I, my mentality wasn't ready for this game either, so um, I threw a pick, ended up uh, back on defense, pretty much trying to stop this guy as my best as I can. And he tried to scramble, but he wasn't going to because uh, I got my guys on the, on the containing. So uh, Levante David, it's weird that he went down and for a sack. And then he tried to roll out right here. Cam Newton got sacked yet again by Demontre Moore. Demontre Moore trying to do, uh, you know, a hell of a job over there. And, I'm, you know, I'm thanking, I'm thanking that guy. I was like, damn, you're finally waking up. So my whole defense finally stops this guy. And I'm um, fourth and 22, which is kind of sad for him because he was doing so good in the first quarter. Now I'm moving on to the second quarter, 40 seconds to go, third and 10, uh, two more yards to go. I thought he was going to get the first down, but no, Cardell Patterson was stopped short. Sending a little, little bit of a crow route down the middle with Joe McKnight. Nice catch by him because I did kind of trick him out right there. I knew he wasn't going to cover the running back. And uh, I ended up going to split close. Uh, Cordell Patterson, nice catch down the middle. And yet another risky pass. That was one of the most risky, riskiest pass I ever done in my whole freaking time here in Madden 15 Ultimate Team. I don't know how I did that. So, um, yeah, ended up going to halftime. 7 of 14 to go, third quarter, three minutes to go. Jason Morrow down the middle, yet again another risky pass. I'm not sure how I'm doing those, but yet he's freaking catching it. I'm not sure if it's a glitch that I'm doing. So, um, I ended up running the ball with Doug Martin. He finally gets his first good run of the year. Curdle Patterson yet open again. He's going man coverage, so I'm like, okay, run it again so I can like run some slants. And nope. Run a cold route right there because he blitzed everybody in. He, has, he still had everybody on man coverage. So Brandon Marshall was going to be open on that curl route. Uh, do a little bit of a trickery run game right here. Doug Martin with a nice touch and out of that fake fullback dive. That was like one of the most rarest plays I ever caught here in the whole game. And watch this defensive play. Demontre Moore forces a fumble from Cam Newton. Jadamian Clowney recovers the fumble. 14-14, third quarter. One minute and 18 seconds to go. Touchdown on a fullback dive. The comeback is happening. It's just fucking happened. I was down 14-0. And now I'm 21-14. Watch the whole video again, guys. I recommend it because it's just an incredible way. I just did this freaking comeback. My defense is finally waking up. Everybody's doing their coverages right. I mean, where was this team in the first two goddamn games? So, um, yeah, it raises a lot of questions, man. How the hell is this team finally reacting to everything compared to the first two other games that I had? I mean, come on. Now I'm shutting down this guy. 
So he has 21 unanswered points, 4th and 10. Will he convert it? No, that defensive line, that's if those both defensive ends finally reacting like they were acting like in season three and season four, you know, they were beasts on those two seasons and they're finally acting like that. So I ended up making the guy quit. Unbelievable. And the guy was pretty much, you know, he was getting there. He was like going to be shutting me down and shit, but he ends up quitting. What the fuck? And he called himself the Mud King. That's why he called his fucking team. <laughs> embarrassing for him man so that's it guys leave a like leave a comment tell me what's up tell me what you think about this game it was a good winning game guys but i'm about to announce something big on my next video about madden 15 ultimate team so stay tuned for tomorrow guys at the same time uh so if you guys like this make sure you subscribe for more if you guys want to see more madden 15 ultimate team